So quick story about Flexbase. I had built my first Flexbase development. I ended up buying a lot of construction material, a lot, like way too much, um, way more than I needed. And then I got a great offer on the Flexbase development. I think it cost me somewhere around $4 million to build. So I had about $1.5 million in equity of my own in it. And then I sold it for $6.4 million, which was $2.4 million over the 1.4 that I had in it. So crazy offer. I couldn't say no. I told them, okay, I'm going to sell it. Ended up selling it. The buyer actually signed a six-month lease with me because I had all this construction equipment. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I was going to sell it or keep it or build another flex space. Point is, is that with flex spaces, you will often find the opportunity to do short-term leasing because there's really nothing to damage. Your landlord has nothing to lose. If you feel like you're not able to get a two-year lease, you can get a one-year lease for sure. If you're not able to get a one-year lease, guess what? Easy six-month lease because there's plenty of businesses like me at the time who don't know what to do with all their equipment and there is nowhere we can move it. We can't put it in storage facilities. They're too small, and they won't allow it. We can't put it in boat and RV storage because those guys don't like us going there with our construction gear or whatever equipment that we have. The only place we can really go is a flex space. And I had the best six months of my life because I was able to complete my next development, move all my equipment to my next development because I needed it over there because I was building. Um, but in those six months, I was able to get a location uh, that was flexible with me for my business. And this cannot happen in other asset classes.